Hey, I'm Alex, and this is Finally Functional. In this series, I'm making VR shoes. In the last video, I talked about the braking mechanisms that I tried out on this shoe, some of the problems that they had. And in this video, I'm going to do a bunch of demoing. I'm gonna walk with these, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna walk backwards. So I'm gonna talk about the other improvements that I made to these shoes that I didn't get to in the last video while I'm doing the demo. Okay, and we're just gonna jump right into the demo. So let's get started. So I decided I wanted to try a rug out and see if that would provide enough resistance and maybe I wouldn't even need a braking mechanism or the braking mechanism would just be a bonus. And yeah, it, it turns out that a rug like this works pretty well. It adds just enough resistance so that I feel like I can stand and balance easily, but I can still slide my feet back easily as you can see here. Plus, it helps reduce the noise. It reduces the noise a lot more than just the, the ground, the concrete or cement that my floor is made out of. So yes, after all that effort with the braking mechanisms, just turns out that a mat was really all that's needed, at least for now. I think adding the braking mechanisms or limiting the stride length later could be something useful to do. but. This setup is pretty simple, and I'm happy with it so far. With this version, I can lift my heels up so I don't have to walk flat-footed like with the previous version. So with these shoes, I can jump, as you can see here, and the shoes seem fine. And here I am trying to run with the VR shoes. Running is more tricky. I found walking to be quite easy, but running might take some practice to do and might need some improvements to work out how to just make it feel more natural and make it so it's not very hard to do. And plus, there was an issue that happened while I was running. What happened was that the axle on one of, yeah, one of the axles came out slightly, so the wheels weren't turning as well in one of the axles. So um, yeah, I kind of just popped out a little bit. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back and fix that. The axles are supposed to be held in place by these set screws that are in the wheels, but that doesn't seem to be working out. And yeah, I'm gonna, I have already uh, redesigned that. So this problem shouldn't happen again. So here's walking backwards. It's pretty awkward right now. I need to make some improvements to make it easier. I have to take pretty small steps in order to just do it. So walking backwards is a little tricky because there's nothing supporting me right here. If I start like leaning, I'll start leaning, 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 and it makes walking backwards harder. If there was, if this rod extended down more and I could push against it on my lower back, walking backwards would be easier. But there's a trade-off. Walking backwards might be easier, but now I won't be able to I won't be able to lean down as much like this, and I might want to be able to do that kind of leaning. So I'm gonna I'm gonna extend it down, see how it feels, um, and yeah, I'll I'll take it from there. We'll see. And here I'm just showing that I can turn really easily with the shoes. The support rig I have there isn't set up to do turning yet, but the shoes seem perfectly capable. Of capable of doing it. I can turn around rapidly like you would want to do in a fast paced game and I'm not losing my balance. And yeah, I'm happy about this because the clunky shoes that I had in uh, the, in videos past, the big clunky ones, they were harder to turn and c you couldn't really turn very, um, very quick. But with these, it seems like they'll work. And there's a lot of VR locomotion solutions out there that I've seen where you can't really turn that fast, especially the motorized ones. So I'm actually really happy about this. So I have these front and back stoppers here and their purpose is that when I lean my foot like this, they help me stop or back like this. Yeah, so if you imagine I'm taking a step and then I bring my foot back the idea is it will go like that and help me stop my foot so I can bring it back and take another step. Now, I don't think it really um, is working out that way, so I'll, I'll walk for real this time. I don't think the shoes are really bending or doing that. I don't think they're going up like that. I think they're just staying flat most of the time. 
So um, to, to fix that, these shoes are a little long. You can see this is the front of the VR shoe, but the front of my foot is here and the back um, is a little bit longer. So I'm actually gonna make these a little shorter. I think if they're a little shorter, then I'll be more easily able to angle them like this and hit the stoppers. Plus, I'm gonna make the stoppers a little bit taller so that they're a little closer to the ground so that I don't have to, um, to, to rotate them like this as much to get them to hit. I mean, backwards was the same idea where you'd hit the stopper like this as your foot comes in front of you. But I don't really think that's happening. But it's not a big deal. Uh, I'll keep fiddling with it. So these flow slider things, and they have felt pads here. Not felt. Um, this is like slippery, slippery material. I can't remember the name, like PTFE or something like that, I think. And so I'll show my other shoe. I have all these little like coupler things here. You can put a screw through these. And they're just so that I can put um, a whole bunch of different attachments on the bottom of this thing. The, that friction piece, this thing actually just fits over them. Oh, three of them nicely, but I could have one over here, one over here. I could have more friction pieces and if I wanted more friction for some reason. Well, and yeah, um, so it just makes it a lot easier to add and remove parts and to test out parts because I have these little coupler pieces all over the place. So with this one, the idea is it'd go right here and um, these would slide along the ground. Normally, you know, they just slide passively but then the idea was that I, once my foot come, is like this, I would be pressing into the, the, the slider thing a lot more, so it would provide more resistance. And the idea behind that was I would take my step, and as I'm bringing it back, I'm not really pressing it on that spot. I'm not pressing on the ball of my foot very much as I'm bringing it back. But then when I get, when I get behind me, now I am and that's where I want my shoe to stop. So the slider would help me stop and then I'd go forward again, it helped me stop, forward again, and so on. It's not really working out that way. Um, it just, for, for one, it's a lot harder to move that foot, but maybe if you're like a beginner, this would be more easy, you have more control. It's like, actually, it's not that bad, it is harder to move my foot, but it does feel like this would be better for a beginner. But I don't feel the resistance increasing a whole bunch when it's back here. It feels constant. Um, it's just constantly more, a little bit more resistance. So I, have a, I could do a little bit more with that. I can maybe move these. So I have another one. Um, I have another one where they're in a slightly different position like that, but that didn't really work that well either. And then, of course, these are meant to be slippery. So I'm, I'm trying to balance between them being able to slide most of the time and then stop and then provide resistance. So um, then there's like just a little thing like this, which doesn't have a slippery part, but this didn't, that goes on like that. That didn't work very well. Of course, this could go on anywhere. There's so many things that I could try. There's so many different variations of sliders and where you can put them on this thing that uh, I'll be probably experimenting with that for a long time. So another thing I added to the shoes is this piece in the middle here. It has a piece of neoprene right there and that is to keep it, that is to make it so the shoes don't really slide around. You would take this piece out when you're actually using the shoes during a game, but if you are walking around normally outside of the support rig, then you'd have this thing on there so that you can walk around and the wheels won't slide, the wheels won't roll. The like a use case for this would be you're sitting in a chair and you put the shoes on and then you need to walk over to the support rig and strap yourself in. Well, walking over to it, you don't have to worry about the wheels rolling at all. And it seems to work well. I can walk around and I don't really feel the the wheels rolling at all. Uh, the Catwalk C 
that has these shoes that come with these friction strips and it's a very similar concept. You may have noticed that while I was wearing the shoes, they were making this slapping sound. I think it's because of this uh, like foot flap here, it's slapping every time my heel comes back. So an idea that I have for fixing this is to just uh, put some cloth between the, the flap and the other shoe, the platform, so that the sound is muffled a bit. I'm gonna try that and see how well it works. So next steps are I'm going to make those improvements that I mentioned throughout the video to these shoes like it's a little bit too long for me. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter for me and I have redesigned it so that it's a little bit easier to just make the whole shoe much shorter in general because I want my wife to be able to try these out. She's actually already tried these shoes out and um, she did okay on them, but they're way too big for her. So I really want to make a version of these that's slimmed down for her so that she can try it. So it's not just me demoing all this. Um, you can see another person use it too. And hopefully I'll get some other people to try these as well over time. And then one of the other things I said I'd improve is this, this slapping noise. I'm gonna try putting some cloth right here and seeing if that muffles it a little bit. And then finally, we saw that one of the axles sticked out a little bit after I did some running. I definitely have to fix that, so I'm gonna fit. Um, I already made a fix for that. It's printing out behind me. So those are the three things I'm going to improve on the shoes. And then after that, I'm going to move on to a support rig. I'm gonna make a better support rig. I've already made a couple. I have footage and uh, stuff for that that I need to show you guys. It's been there a while. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to First, try using Natural Locomotion, a app on Steam that tracks your feet using like Joy-Cons or Vibe Trackers, that sort of thing. And I'm just gonna use, though, use that because it's quicker, but I'm probably gonna write my own software and maybe add my own sensors in, into here later. And then I'm going to probably try to slim these down so that you don't have to wear a regular shoe with them. You can just wear socks and this thing will weigh even, even less. And then after that, probably try to add a motor back in because, because uh, well, to be honest, these, I would use these in a game a lot. I'm going to use these in games and I'm gonna try them. And I think as they are now, they're good for me. They're probably not good for everybody uh, and that's fine. But for me, these are good, but I think a motor would make it even better. So I'm gonna add a motor back in eventually and then yeah, uh, omnidirectional movement, of course, is uh, something I want to go back to as well. Okay, so those are all uh, my plans. Thanks, you, thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hi, right, cool. Oh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. There's some bonus footage that didn't make it into this video, some stuff about the flooring materials I tried, and I have uploaded the full unedited demo of this. Links to those are in the description.